Yep. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yep. Um, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this extraordinary um, meeting of, of council. Thank you very much for making yourselves available at such short notice. But given the environment we're all living in at the moment, we thought it um, really relevant that we all got together and had a chat about our Australia Day celebrations. So thank you very much for making yourselves available. And Happy New Year. Hope everybody's had a bit of a um, a bit of a rest in a reboot, and we're all ready to uh, work hard during 2022, as hard as COVID is, allows us to work. Um, in the spirit of open, accessible and transparent government, and to ensure this meeting is open to the public, this council meeting is being recorded and live streamed to the Murrumbidgee Council Facebook page. A recording will also be placed on the council's website following the meeting. Murrumbidgee Council accepts no liability for any defamatory, discriminatory or offensive remarks or gestures that are made during the course of the council meeting. Opinions expressed or statements made by the individuals are the opinions or statements of those individuals and do not imply any form of endorsement by Murrumbidgee Council. Confidential meetings of council will not be recorded or webcast. Recordings and webcasts are protected by copyright and owned by Murrumbidgee Council. No part may be copied, recorded, reproduced or transmitted without the prior written consent of the general manager. Any recording or webcast is not and shall not be taken to be an official record of Murrumbidgee Council meetings or discussion depicted therein. Only the official minutes may be relied upon as an official record of the meeting. Um, I call for any apologies, please. Uh, Councillor Kerfee said that he may not be able to make it and it doesn't look like he looks like he's kept up to his his suggestion that he won't get in. Okay. So. Somebody like to move that apology be um, accepted? Move Councillor Bryce, seconded Councillor Chirgwin. Those in favour, please say aye. Those against, carried. Please raise your hand um, if you're in agreement. I uh, remind you of your pecuniary interest declarations. Are there any pecuniary interest declarations that anybody needs to make us aware of? No? Okay. We'll move now to the officer's report for consideration and I'll ask John to speak, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Councillor McRae. Uh, just uh, in relation to um, this extraordinary meeting was, was called underneath our code of practice um, two councillors can put written notice through to hold this uh, hold an extraordinary meeting on an item, which was done by both Councillor McRae and Councillor Black to call this meeting. So I've produced a report in relation to the Australia Day ceremonies and the COVID-19 um, situation that is uh, upon us, both in our area and in New South Wales. Uh, as part of uh, doing the meeting report, I stated in there that we would outreach to the, the three um, committees for Australia Day, and I have responses from all three um, committees, uh, from uh, Rhonda Bryce for Jerewdery, from Alison Hayes from Collie Amberley, and from Margaret King at Darlington Point, all in agreement that we uh, council the uh, events of Australia Day. Uh, Collie Amberley is looking to host the event online, so we'll work with them to see if they can do the event online. They've got a few other little things in there that they'll they'll they'll, they'll look to do, particularly with the um, ambassador and things like that. But uniformly across the the three uh, committees that uh, support uh, Murrumbidgee Council in in the Australia Day. Uh, celebrations have all um, put forward and said um, they're in favour of cancelling uh, the meeting. So I uh, just went across through the, the report and just um, put together some things of what is happening anecdotally. And um, I, the recommendation that I just put forward is that the council suspend all ceremonies and gatherings associated with the uh, Council Run Australia Day events for 26 January 2022. The award recipients be notified and published in the paper on Council's website and social media pages. Uh, at a safe time in the future, public ceremonies be held to acknowledge the award recipients. The form of these ceremonies to be determined by the individual Australia Day committees. And as I just mentioned in relation to Collie Ambley, they'd be looking to move it online 
and have that ceremony online um, at this time. So, um, any questions, Councillor Crow? Councillors. Uh, okay, councillors, any questions for the general manager, please? Any comment? Uh, Councillor Black. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Mayor. I was had my Pfizer booster this morning and I was talking to the COVID doctor in Griffith as I have had a tetanus injection also this week. And she told me that having any community events with the outbreak and the, and the uh, stress on the hospital system at the moment would be would be uh, very unwise. Thank you. Are there any further questions or comments? Councillor Bryce? Um, I'd just like to re reiterate what Rob said and um, it's it's the whole system, the health system, not just the hospital system that's being affected. Um, I would like that our um, events policy um, somehow um, reflect times as such as this in that it's not such a surprise drawn on the people who are filling out the policy and the events requirements um, in the future. Thank you. Uh, uh, Troy, Councillor Major. Yeah, I'd just like to follow on uh, from what Faith has said. I think longer term, we need, just need a long term policy with um, COVID because I guess I'm a bit cognizant, uh, you know, concerned about overreach of council and so the football club and netball club was um, impacted last year by where council changed the rules to what um, New South Wales Health um, had in place and therefore it, it just adds stress to the people who are volunteering and, and organising these events. So I think we need something a little bit more long term and I'd be even, you know, look, Common sense has prevailed. So, you know, is there any need for council to intervene? I guess, and uh, so I think we just need to have a little bit more faith in our community. Um, and I'm certainly of the position where people, you know, responsibility and risk belongs to the individual uh, as well. And so, um, yeah, that's all comments I'd like to make. Because I think we just need something more long term uh, rather than ad hoc and sort of. Um, yeah, because for people organising events, they put put a lot of time and effort in, and for you know there's lots lots of layers there. You got the New South Wales Health, you got the Commonwealth um, Health um, Officer. You know there's lots of layers of bureaucracy. I don't think they really need us jumping in um, ad hoc and um, making it harder on our tears. Uh, in response to that, Troy, um, all council is beholden to have a COVID-19 policy, which we have, um, and for the last two years that has been informed by the public health um, directives. Uh, and if we could rely on everybody's sense of responsibility and lack of selfishness, we as, um, as a council would be very happy with that. Um, these committees are Section 355 committees of council, so ultimately council is responsible for, for how these events or ceremonies um, go ahead. Um, and uh, given the number that has come out of New South Wales today of 92,000, we do not need any type of event that could facilitate a spreading event of any type. So. I take your comments on board that um, that there are lots of levels of bureaucracy, but local government is the bureaucracy closest to the people, and ultimately we as council and councillors are responsible as best we can be for keeping our communities safe. So I I, um, I do take on board uh, the frustrations that every organisation and group out there have felt in the last two years because uh, you get one line of um, moving forward sorted and then somebody jumps out from left field and changes the, the game plan and it is very, very difficult. But I think um, given the fact that these are Section 355 committees of council, we are very, very beholden to make sure that we are not the people that have okayed any sort of super spreading event for our community at this stage. 
Are there any other comments or um, questions or um, issues that, that um, you councillors <coughs> think that we need to be made aware of or brought to the table? If not, if there's no further comment um, in this sphere, what we will do is um, we will look to the recommendation. Would somebody like to move, please? Move Councillor Black, seconded Councillor Gilbert, and the recommendation will read, the council suspend all ceremony and gatherings associated with the council run Australia Day event, 26th of January, 2022. The, the award recipients will be notified and published in the paper on Council's website and social media pages. And C, at a safe time in the future, public ceremonies be held to acknowledge the award recipients, the form of these ceremonies to be determined by the individual Australia Day committees. I'll put the recommendation. Those in favour, please say aye. Raise your hand, please. Those against? Okay, I declare that carried. Okay, any further business? No. Okay, thank you very much everybody for your time and um, I know it's the end of the day and everybody's busy but it was important for everybody to get together in the room and and I thank you very much for, for making that effort. Uh, we'll look forward to meeting in person as soon as we are able to. Thank you.